Here's the guts of a Ryobi OnePlus uh, P150 battery charge level gauge thing. It's uh, pretty much just a circuit board, a couple of contacts. It's again crappy PCB, um, some kind of paper laminate uh, material. And it's all mounted in this um, plastic enclosure that just slots onto the top of the battery and it just reads the potential across it or the microcontroller which I can't tell what it is because that is um, it looks like it's an unmarked part and they didn't just take a commercial part and scrubbed it it's actually unmarked which is annoying um, that just measures the potential across the um, battery and um, and translates that into uh, however many of these LEDs should light up and uh, that's probably going to be something either probably something like a pick 10 or, or no it would not be a pick 10 because looks like more than just six pins are used um, that's probably going to be either a, a pick 12 um, or a low end um, Atmel or some other similar microcontroller because again it's doing very little so you don't need a very powerful one and then there's a potential regular that supplies the 3.3 volts or 5 volts for the microcontroller because almost none of them are designed to work on 18 volts and uh, then there's those three resistors those um, R2 and R7 look to be wired in parallel and then there's C4 wired across them. That's just forming a really simple uh, RC filter, just to filter out crap. And then um, that, in, combined with R1, forms a potential divider that um, reduces that to somewhere in the zero to 3.3 volt or zero to five volt uh, that the uh, analog digital converter on the microcontroller uses. And then that just um, lights up the various LEDs, which all have current limiting resistors, and they're all sunk through. Um, through uh, I.O. pins on the uh, micro. And there ought to be fairly low value resistors, like the, the green ones have 33 ohm resistors and um, 240 ohms, I think, for this yellow one. Can't really read the red one. So I think that might be 3.3 volts because those seem like extremely low values for 5 volts. Um, then there's a couple of uh, very of tiny little electrolytic capacitors. That one can't tell what the brand is. Uh, that's just across the mains input or the the 18 volt uh, supply from the battery. And there's that one. It's a uh, 47 microfarad 10 volt. Um, that one is just the bypass capacitor for the um, for the 3.3 uh, volt rail or 5 volts, whichever one it is. But I'm guessing it's probably from the resistor value of 3.3 volts. And then there's a, uh, looks like a 0603 focus. Uh, there. See, uh, a, three point, uh, um, a 0603 uh, resistor just bodged across the, uh, that one capacitor's uh, solder joints. And there's another capacitor that's just connecting the, uh, thermistor output uh, so the thermistor output is not being used but that's just used for temperature measurement by the charge controller of the battery because the way these work is that there's just the um, the, the uh, hot and the neutral for the 18 volt supply for the tool there's a thermistor which is connected one of the two uh, that the um, but um, you I think it's usually the um, the the uh, the, uh, the DC neutral that the um, charger uses to measure the internal temperature of the battery to, shut, to stop charging if it gets too hot. And then there's this contact, which on the... I've only, I have only don't think the uh, the nickel cadmium OnePlus batteries have that, so I think that's just a, um, a bi-directional um, serial data link of, to the um, um, cell charge uh, management device in the battery. 
because uh, lithium, I think these are lithium polymer or lithium ion, uh, some kind of rechargeable lithium cell chemistry, uh, they always require uh, charge management and cell balancing and electronics to in order to in order to avoid blowing the cell up, and that's just a um, something so that the charger can talk to a, that um, cell. So it's probably because there's only this one thing. It's probably going to be some kind of self-clocking serial um, data protocol. I don't know if it'd be like some kind of Manchester encoding um, or something of that nature. Um, so again, but again, very simple because it doesn't really need to transfer all that much data. And, of course, if the charger doesn't see that, it knows that it's charging a NICAT. Um, so, yeah. Obviously, it'd be fairly hard to dismantle these, because um, I can't find my security torques things. I don't want to inadvertently kill it. If I, Although, if I do get a dead version of one of these batteries, I am going to give it a bit of a teardown. 